<laughs> yeah, that's not gonna work. Hey friend, welcome. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark and sell them hopefully for a profit. Today is November. Oh my word. Monday, November 4th, I think. I never knew the date. Um, I have, I think, 20 items that sold. And this is over the weekend, but also Thursday and Friday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, four days worth of sales. It's over $500 in sales. Remember, I am part-time. Uh, we'll see at the end if I made my goal, which I did. <laughs> I'm, bad, I'm bad about spoilers. I made my goal. So these are a pair of boots. They are the brand, is it Roan? Roan? No, not Roan. Roan. R-O-A-N. Um, I thought they were pretty. They're really nicely made. My, the garage door is open because it's gorgeous out, but it is windy. So if you're hearing the wind, hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, these sold for $41. Usually, I do sell through rate, average sale price. I look those up and share those with you. I am not doing that today for a variety of reasons. One, it just felt like a lot. I had a repairman here this morning and it just felt like too much later in the day than I normally should. That's enough reasons, right? <laughs> All right, these sold on Poshmark for $41. I have had these for a whole year. I don't remember when I bought them if the seltzer rate was good or not. These do have a fair amount of wear on them. They just are kind of scuffed up and stuff. So I did have them listed higher than $41. Um, and on Friday, I sent out 30% off offers on Poshmark. And this was one of the things that sold in that, which is great. I've had them for a year. I spent $5 on them at my old favorite thrift store. So the profit is $27.80. I'm using a priority mailing shoe box. If something sells on Poshmark and it's a pair of shoes, I almost always use that box. And I use silent tape. It's not really silent. Quiet tape. And I just like to tape all the little sides and stuff. Okay. So there was really no reason for, well, there were my reasons. I ended up kind of taking Friday and Saturday off. I listed, but I didn't do anything else on Friday and Saturday. I just kind of needed a break. I had intended on shipping. Well, actually Friday I was gonna get up and do like my uh, sales recap thing for October. And then it just didn't happen. Uh, this is a bra. It's kind of a long line, so it has a, you know, more material down here underneath the cups. This is the brand Airy. I spent way too much on this. <laughs> uh, Airy doesn't sell for very much, but I do sell Airy bras pretty regularly. Um, I'm just gonna take a lint roller to the insides of these cups. Um, some, for some reason I spent $3 on this bra six months ago. It only sold for $10. So, you know, that might work for someone else. That's not really the goal that I'm going for. I don't want to spend $3 to make 10 in six months. I didn't even make 10. I made five. So, um, it sold for 10 plus shipping on eBay. They paid a total of $17.10. I paid $3 at my old favorite thrift store, and that makes my profit $5.07. So, yeah, for me, that's just not really what I'm wanting to do. I, if I had bought this for a dollar 
or less, uh, I, I would have been a little better with that. I don't mind having a smaller um, profit on bras, but in general, I like to, I aim for about a $15 profit. I don't always get there. I promise, it's rare. Um, this is Going Ground Advantage. I use these, they're eight, eight by six by four boxes that I buy on eBay with my shipping supply coupon that I get for having a store. And I think that's all there is to say about that. I think there's like 20 items today. I forgot to count, but um, we're gonna be here a minute. So settle in if you haven't already, grab a snack or maybe start taking some pictures. All right, this is a little Victoria's Secret nighty. Pretty cute, it has kind of a, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a flower. It looks like a big spot on it, but. <laughs> It's a flower. And this sold for $15.97 plus shipping on eBay. They paid a total of $21.82. I bought these for a dollar. These. Uh, there were like eight, I think, Victoria's Secret night gowns. Little nighty things that I bought at a yard sale over Labor Day weekend. And I bought them all for a dollar a piece. This has been listed for two months. Hold on, I gotta dig through this and see if I can find it. Uh -huh. Eh, I'll just use a, I'm gonna use a recycled poly mailer just cause it's tiny. Um, I have little poly mailers, but I can't find them. I've either used them all or they're like buried in. I have a little bin down here that has recycled poly mailers and just ones that I don't use very often. Anyway, I forgot what I was gonna say. I've sold three or four of these already, which is nice. None of them are selling for very much, mostly around that $15 mark, which is okay. I'll take it for a dollar. And let's see, my profit on this is $13.19. I love using recycled materials when I can, especially for ground advantage, because it saves me some money. These are, well, sometimes I can get them for free with my coupon, but even with the coupon, sometimes I'm still paying a few dollars. Um, this, um, and the, my bigger ones that I buy on Amazon, it's like seven cents a piece. So it does save me some money. All right, oh, this is cool. This is a dress. <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling here. There we go. There it is. Um, I would say that's a maxi dress. It's very like ruffly here at the bottom. It's kind of sheer. It is vintage, dead stock, old stock. I don't know about enough about that. The brand is Romans. Romans. It's a plus size. I definitely used the term fairy. I just thought this was really cool. It's really kind of fun. But let's see, what did I sell it for? $30. I think I had it listed for 40 and someone offered me 30. So I thought that was pretty good. They paid a total of 42.10 with shipping. I bought it two months ago at just a local thrift store here in town where they benefit our, the local mission in town, the animal shelter, I guess. Um, I spent $5 on it. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. And there's nothing here to distract me. It's just how I look with it, I guess. Okay, I'm taking these out for now. Bothering me there. All right, I spent five dollars on this dress, so my profit is twenty four fifty three. Pretty good. I did make a little bit of money on the shipping. I do calculated shipping, so sometimes that happens. It's never my goal, 
but it happens. I have a lot of like, not this thing particularly, but um, most of my other things are a lot of like bread and butter type items, things that I find kind of on the regular and that sell pretty well for me in general. But none of it's like high priced stuff. This is a little vintage romper outfit thing. Uh, this is the shirt that goes underneath it. And I love little vintage baby stuff that's Peter Rabbit. Super cute. It sold for, let's see, I had it listed for $27.96. And then I have a 15% off coupon on my store. And so they used that. Plus shipping, they paid a total of $30.42. I found a ton of vintage baby clothes in a bin at the Goodwill Outlet. I don't know when. Well, five months ago. I do know that. Six months ago. Somewhere there. I think it was June. I found a ton. Sold some vintage Oshkosh for some good money. Maybe undersold some vintage Oshkosh. Uh, definitely did one at least, but this took five months to sell. I average at the bins. You pay by the pound at the bins if you are unfamiliar. Um, so I just average a cost and with baby clothes and hats and stuff like that, bras, I say that I pay a dollar for them. It just makes it easier on me. And so that makes my profit $18.51 on that little vintage baby thing that would have gone to the landfill. So I'm pleased with that. This is a brand that I would consider a uh, bread and butter for me and it's Carhartt. This is Carhartt Force. I, this, I called it a gator hood. I don't know. I definitely think people use that for like hunting just to keep warm and bright so people don't hit in the head. I don't know. Uh, it's over $16 on Poshmark. I bought it at the bins. So saying I have a dollar as a cost of goods, that makes my profit $11.80. So that's that's a little better, a little closer to where I'm just, okay, just do this for ease, Jen. Sometimes it's just easier. Um, there will be a day when I will be just knocking out all those recycled polymillers. Just get them out of here. But today's not that day. I have another hat. I like hats because they're pretty simple to photograph. I mean, that does not take up much storage space. This is a wool blend little beanie. It is Eddie Bauer. And it's made in the USA. And I bought it at the bins. So, you know, I said it cost me a dollar, but really it cost me a lot less than that. So this sold for $15 plus shipping. Total of $20.85. After fees, shipping, and my cost of goods as a dollar, that makes my profit $10.74. I do wrap everything in tissue paper and I add a little thank you sticker. And that's all. I try to make it as simple as I can. I also am finding that I don't know what to talk about in between. <laughs> Usually when I have the sell through rate and the average sell price, it gives me a couple more things to say on each item. All right, this next one I think is really, um, they seem to be kind of trendy. It's like a utility coat style. Um, like a barn coat, a uh, chore coat. This is not kind of exactly that. I would say it's more utility. It's again, Eddie Bauer. That's one of those brands that does pretty well for me 
as long as I stick with like outerwear. This actually I've had for about eight months and I used it in my aesthetic, uh, I can't say it, As aesthetics, aesthetics, <laughs> why can't I say that word? Aesthetics video that I did with Gretchen, the Restless Thrifter. So we uh, did a little collab in March. So man, it's been a minute. But this was a Gorpcore um, pick for me. We each did 25 different aesthetics. And um, yeah, it took a long time. So eight months, but you know, back in March, we were going into spring and summer, so maybe people weren't just buying um, uh, buying jackets and stuff that much. So this sold on Poshmark, and actually it was a full price sale on Poshmark. So I had it listed for $35. I think this is the highest one. Yeah. No. Sorry, I do have a better one in here. I forgot second highest one and I bought this jacket for a dollar at my old favorite thrift store so I have $27 in profit on this jacket which is great definitely like turning a dollar into 27 however you know eight months is kind of long I would say I don't actually keep track of how long like I don't have a overall average of how long my stuff takes to sell. Okay, I, I don't know about this. This is a pair of pants. And this had a name and I forgot to write it down and I forget what they're called. And then this is a little cropped shirt. I thought it, they were pajamas, but it, I think it's like a, supposed to be an outfit. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Uh, the brand is Brandy Melville. Um, I have, I have no business selling this brand. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's good in it and what's not. I don't know anything about it. I kind of think it's fast fashion. I know that I like to watch Ship With Me What Sold videos. And one of the people that I watch a lot is McThrifty is her name She's a young girl that only sells on Poshmark anyway she has mentioned Brandy Melville multiple times and like raved over it well I found this for pretty cheap two dollars at um, my new favorite thrift store this is Poshmark and I thought I'd go ahead and buy it it I've had this for 15 months so I don't know if it was the style, I, like I said, I got no, I have no business selling that brand. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to like <laughs> stuff like that. Um, it's over $20 on Poshmark, which I mean, I'll take it. I'm not sad about that. I, I am just sad that it took so long to sell after fees and I don't do a shipping discount at all on Poshmark. I haven't in a really long time since they let that be an option. Um, and then $2 in cost of goods and my profit's $14 on that little outfit that I know nothing about. I love when I say I know nothing about some, something. Almost always somebody will say in the comments. So if you're curious, check the comments because somebody might have had have some information about that brand and if you are familiar with that brand hmm maybe let me know what I should look for in that brand all right this is a sweater that I've had since 2022 which is when let's see I've been selling for three years so I started in 2021. <laughs> so this is almost as old as when I started selling. Uh, this is a sweater, it's Argyle, it's wool, and it's Pendleton. It's Merino wool, actually, oh my goodness. Somebody got a really good deal on this sweater. Um, 
I don't know. It just wouldn't sell, wouldn't sell, wouldn't sell. Somebody sent me a offer for $13 and I took it because at this point in a couple months, I was going to get rid of it anyway because I, I do get rid of stuff just because I don't have the space um, to keep things forever and ever. I wish I did. Actually, I don't know that I wish I did. I don't think I want to have that much stuff. Um, <laughs> that's just my own personal thing. I think you can do what you want. And I really truly mean that. Um, yeah, so $13 plus shipping. They paid a total of $20.25. Pendleton is one of those brands that I think should sell really well and it doesn't. It's really good quality. There are some items that do sell really well, but this little Argyle Merino wool turtleneck was not it. I paid $6.15 for it way back in 2022. So that makes my profit $4.45 plus the storage fees. This is not priority. <laughs> uh, plus the cost it took take up space in my mind that it was there. No, I don't know. And in 2022, I was probably paying up for Pendleton. It was selling better for me then. It was selling really well for me. Then. And I could find it. I, find, I still find it fairly a reasonable amount of time. I think like if you find their Aztec stuff or like a really good outerwear piece, then I would think Marina would do good. I don't know. I sold some corduroy, a corduroy skirt just last week, I think. This is a pair of sweatpant shorts. This is the brand called, I think it's Young LA, Young Law. I don't know. Apparently it's a weightlifting brand. This I did, I paid too much for these, but they have a really good sell through rate, not a super high uh, average sale price. I don't think it's a super expensive brand to begin with, but every single piece that I've listed has sold within three months, usually even faster than that. These sold for $19 plus shipping, plus they sold on Poshmark and I had to cancel it <laughs> the next day. That was kind of weird. It very rarely happens. Um, I feel bad when it happens, but... Um, Bendu does have an automatic delisting feature. I don't use it because you have to have your, um, you have to have your computer open. So what I do is if I sell something on eBay, I delist it. No, I'm sorry. If I sell something on either Poshmark or... Depop, I will delist it right away on eBay, but I don't worry about it the other way around because it doesn't ding my account. I don't know. I don't feel great about that decision, but that's what I'm doing right now. Did I tell you all the things with that? I don't know. I spent $4 for those at actually the same garage sale where I got all those Victoria's Secret 90s. Uh, I paid $4 a piece. They were four pair of those shorts two, I still have two that I haven't listed, and then a pair of Gymshark shorts, and I asked her if she'd take three for them. She had them listed for five, but she said 20 for all five of them, so $4 a piece was what I paid. So my profit's $10.76. That was one of those things I knew my profit was going to be a bit lower, but I was willing to do that because I was pretty confident that they would sell because their sell-through rate is really high. Um, these are a pair of Vineyard Vine Charleston pants. The, oh, sorry, breaker pants. Oh, the Charleston, I think, is the name of the breaker pant, is the name of the plaid, I think. Anyway, these I found at a little liquidation store in my town. I don't shop there very often. This time, I, the time that I went and I bought these, I, went a little overboard and paid too much for things. I realize that my cost of goods is pretty low 
comparatively to some people. And when I talk about like $4 is paying a lot for me, or like I paid three fifty dollars for these pants. And that's a lot for me, but I know that that's not always the case for other people. And I really just want to encourage you to look at what your situation is and you know, your scenario, all of our circumstances can't possibly be exactly the same. So maybe some of them are similar, but make sure you're just looking at what you're doing and that it's the best for you. Not necessarily what's going to work for you might not work for me. What works for me is probably not going to work for you. Um, yeah, so I spent $3.50 on these. I do have another pair. So it was a multi-quantity listing, which I think I, I like those are just easy. It did take six months to sell. I had another pair that was like a size five, like a little kid size five, and those sold pretty fast. These are for $20 on Poshmark, so that makes my profit $12.50. And I used the wrong bag. <sighs> I used a poly mailer instead of a priority. Oh well, it's okay. You know what I might do is just I'm gonna throw some priority stickers on the other side so that people know it's priority. I don't know. Oh shoot. That is really a bummer. Okay. I have had these shorts for a long time. I relisted them recently and like put them at 996 or something. I don't know. Um, these are Torrid, which I love. And I thought these were so cute, but I don't know. They just didn't really sell until I relisted them really low. And I relisted them low over the weekend. So, I mean, after that, they they didn't take long to sell. So, they paid a total of $14.49 with shipping. I did pay $2 for these, which, again, I know is actually not very much. Um... But that ends up making my profit $5.84. I think the lesson there for me is that just because it's a brand that I really like and that sells well for me doesn't mean that actual piece is something that I need to be selling. This sold on eBay. So I'm good with the poly mailer. <laughs> This is a little like grouping that I sold together and they were a couple t-shirts. So there's a, a navy one and two white ones. I found a bunch of these LL Bean long, they're just long sleeve t-shirts. I found a bunch of them at my old favorite thrift store where my cost of goods is usually very low and sometimes it can be very, very, very low. <laughs> I don't know. In this case, it was very, very, very low. I paid 12 cents for all three of these together, which is insane. The wind is picking up again. If it hasn't been the whole time. <laughs> it's supposed to rain today. Anyway. I listed, let's see, there were a bunch of LL Bean ones and then some Duluth. The Duluth one's already sold. The seller rates were decent. And so, I mean, not, it was probably around 25 to 30%. So not like a great seller rate. Let's see, we sold on, on eBay. Um, they took three months to sell. They paid uh, $19.97. I think I had them listed for $25. And then the 20% off offers that I send out on eBay made that $19.97. Plus shipping, they paid a total of $31.77. This is really heavy. And they live pretty far from me. Oh, yeah. Um, so, anyway... The shipping was kind of high. I did make some money on the shipping, however. 12 cent cost of goods, like I said. So my profit is $17.67. And that makes me hopeful that I have one more little bundle of those that hopefully will sell. Um, one 
the one was kind of um, stained pretty well. So this also double. No, they didn't double sell. Hold on. So this is a pair of overalls. They are quilt lined. They're reinforced knees. They are Carhartt, which is great. But really, if you find uh, overalls like this style, they'll, they'll sell. Usually Carhartt has a little number, but this one doesn't, but these are youth sized. And then here it says it's crafted in the USA. And then on the back, it's upside down, but that's a union label. So these are union made. With Carhartt, that matters. USA made, Carhartt, or union made, all of that matters with Carhartt. Um, I, it's not like the end all be all. You can sell things that aren't um, made in the US. You can sell things that aren't union made, but it does add value and money to these. I made a mistake with these when I listed them. I listed them for $60. Um, they used my 20% off coupon. But when I listed them, so when you do calculated shipping, you have to put all your shipping information in. So how much things weigh and the measurements of whatever you're shipping it in. So I did that. However, when I went to print out my, my label this morning, I was like, that shipping does not seem like enough. It was like $4. I was like, mm, I, I can't imagine that it's only going to cost me $4 to ship these. And so I double checked everything and I had put three ounces in instead of three pounds. So it only charged the buyer like $5 for shipping and it actually cost me almost nine dollars to ship it so I did lose some money in the shipping this time which is super bummer but it is what it is um then I woke up let's see these sold I think on Friday Saturday maybe and then I woke up this morning and I have an offer on Poshmark for them so trying to get rid of that but um when there's an offer on something on Poshmark, you can't um, you can't del delete, delist, or delete the um, I'm getting there the listing. I know you can like change things, and I was just feeling too lazy to do that. So hopefully, I'll be able to delete it and not ha have it double bought because I don't like that. That makes me feel yucky. I did have somebody buy them maybe a few weeks ago, or maybe they just put in an offer and said, actually, don't accept my offer because I realized that their kids, they thought they were a woman's size. So anyway, these took four months to sell and I bought them in New York. I was on a thrifting trip with my husband. I bought them for $8, I think at a Salvation Army. And my profit was $28.59. So that's pretty good. Now I have three items that sold on Depop. Uh, amazing. <laughs> this is a Merino wool. Merino wool Valerie Stevens. Oh, that's bad. Little double breasted cardigan. Hello. Um, I've had this for a long time. 11 months. They bought it for $13 and $9 in shipping. I don't really know how to do Depop, so please don't ask me Depop questions. I mean, you can ask, but I'm gonna tell you that I don't know, because <laughs> I don't know. Um, this took 11 months to sell. Total, I had it listed on Depop for two months. So when I subtract my cost of goods, which was $2, I found it at the bins. Let's see, I needed to put this in this one. There's, um, Depop says they don't have fees, but they have a fee. <laughs> So, I mean, it's a low fee. I'll take it. It was $1.18 on this one. And then I paid $6 in shipping. So, did make a little bit of money on the shipping. So, that makes my profit $12.73. I, right now, am doing 
other I don't, I don't know I really don't know what I'm doing when it comes to Depop um but I'm doing off Depop shipping so I go through pirate ship to print my labels that's the wrong one okay I sold two vintage sweaters actually I think that was vintage too um when you look at them you'll go oh yeah those are kind of similar in style so uh kind of striped with some kind of geometric designs in it uh crew neck this one is McGregor and it's made in Korea and it's acrylic the this one sold for 24 plus nine dollars in shipping Hmm. Okay. I bought this at my old favorite thrift store, I think two years ago. <laughs> That's the way it looks. It looks like it was listed at the beginning of 2023. So maybe not exactly two years, but close to two years ago was when this one got listed originally. Um, my profit is $22.63. Not bad. All right. We're getting real close to the end. This one is a little more plaid, but again, crew necked. This one is vintage or natural issue. I don't know. Made in Turkey. And this one is also acrylic. So, but you know, kind of similar, I would think, in style, in my opinion, I guess. This one also sold for $24 and $9 in shipping. I spent $2 on this at a local thrift store, the same one that uh, benefits the mission. And it only took a month to sell, can I say that? I spent two dollars on it. <laughs> oh my word. And that makes my profit $22.78. Pretty good. So my profit for the four day four day I'll say it right. Maybe. The profit for the four days was $290.59. If I divide that by four, it's $72.50. My goal is $67 a day. So I did it, made it. I did say that I was gonna do my October recap on Friday and chose not to. I will still be doing that at some point this week. <laughs> I haven't quite decided when I will get to that, but I will, I promise I will do it. I promise I will do my best to do it. How about I do that instead? Uh, things just seem to be, feels like I have a full plate right now. So I'm trying to, I, it, it, hmm. people talk a lot about balance. <laughs> Maybe these are going to be my words today. I hadn't really planned on this, but here we go. People talk a lot about balance and I think that balance is a fallacy. I don't think that balance is real. Um, I think it's something that makes that people talk about and just makes everybody feel bad about themselves because balance to me is um it's more like spinning plates right there's only so many plates we can keep spinning and some of them kind of kind of can just spin on their own and some of them you have to pay a lot of attention to and you have to spin a lot to keep it going and then sometimes you have to you realize that there's one that's about to fall over here and so you got to leave this one for a while and you gotta go spin this one. And so it's not, uh, it's not an even, you know, thing that you often think of with balance. With balance, I often think like, you know, the teeter-totter staying at an exact level. I think balance is more like just we're running around spinning plates and just hoping that one doesn't fall and shatter. Anyway. <laughs> I have some other plates I got to spin is is the whole point of that um, so I'm trying to um, 
I feel like YouTube is one plate that I just am, you know, it kind of is spinning on its own, which is why I don't do a whole lot of editing. I don't, you know, all my thumbnails look the same. I try to make it very simple so that it's just a plate that I don't have to pay that much attention to, but it's a plate that I really enjoy. So all of that to say, um, if you're feeling overwhelmed, maybe just realize that balance isn't a real thing and look at the plates that you need to spin. Maybe let some of them drop because you don't really need to be holding them. <sighs> That's hard. Okay. Anyway, uh, there wasn't really a complete thought there. I think just like mm, a little bit of thought, but my hope is that I can be an encouragement to you as we're going through all of this together, a little journey of reselling and, uh, making some extra money for our families or ourselves or whatever your goal is. So I think that's it. Leave a little, uh, happy emoji or maybe how are you feeling? Here we go. I like that a little bit better. Give me a little smiley face emoji of how you're feeling. Maybe it's not smiling. That's okay. You don't have to be smiling. Uh, what are, what are you feeling right now? And that's it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already. I do these videos almost every day. Sometimes I take an unscheduled break and that's okay. That's good too. Actually, that was what I was going to talk about was how breaks are important. We'll talk about that another day. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate you. I'll see you soon.